So I was reading, uh, you know, on this little website, you might have heard of it, it's called Apple, and they were talking about search engine optimization. Do you know how, I'll explain it to you. So pretty much what it is, is that you go on Google or Bing or, or uh, what else there is, you go on one of those and you, you type in words. If you, I'm sure you've done it before, but you know, you go and you like type in a little something, a little, little word, a little this word, a little that word, you know, big word, small word, doesn't really matter. And then so boom, you know, it's You okay? Yeah. So hashtags are this cool little thing that you can use on Facebook. And hey there guys and ghouls, my name is Robbie Janae and welcome to the first ever Premium Beat Halloween special. Today we're going to be diving into one of my favorite realms of filmmaking, creating practical effects. The practical elements we're going to be creating today are the meat and potatoes of any budget horror short. We got fake limbs, fake blood, and even fake guts. We're going to be using some of the most tried and true methods in the industry to fill your inventory with realistic looking gore. It's going to get messy, it's going to get gross, so strap in, let's craft up some monstrosities. So let's start off with a fake hand. So why do you need a fake hand for your short? Well. You can't really do this kind of stuff with a real hand. Science has been telling us that it might hurt. Can't do this with a real hand. For the short that we started this video with, we wanted a hand that ends of the wrist so we could fake a chopped off hand look. To create a realistic looking hand, the best place to start is creating a mold of your actual hand. We use this stuff called alginate molding powder to get the job done. It's what the pros use to create life casts of just about anything. Take the powder and pour it into a plastic mixing bucket. The recipe is a one to one ratio of powder to water, so take your other mixing bucket and fill it with water to match the powder. Once you pour it in, start mixing immediately. We used a paint mixer on a drill to really get everything together, but a wooden mixing stick can work as well. You only got about five minutes before this pancake looking batter starts to freeze up. So after it's all mixed up, slide your hand in there in the position you want your prosthetic to look like. You can go with this, classic high five, fist, this, you know the drill. Now just wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to harden up. It's gonna start giving you some resistance after a few minutes, but make sure that you give it time to truly get hardened. Then just pull out your hand and you got yourself a true to form life casting of your hand. To make the actual prosthetic, my recommendation is using silicone rubber to get the job done. It's the most realistic solution you can use because it's gonna give you some wiggle and some lifelike details when it's all said and done. You can buy a trial size of this stuff online for like 30 bucks, not too bad. It's a two part mixture that's really easy to follow. Just pour each container into individual cups and mix them to get any liquid left over on top incorporated into the fold. Then pour both into a combining cup and mix with a wooden paint stick. The silicone pack we bought had two different colors of rubber solution, so it became apparent when it was fully mixed when the colors combine into a single color. Now just pour that solution into your mold and let it sit for about five to six hours. Once the setting time is done, you can slowly start to wiggle out the hand. If you're careful enough, you can pull it out without breaking the mold and actually use it again for duplication. It almost freaks me out how lifelike it is. It even had the grooves of my skin and fingernail texture. Now obviously my hand isn't blue, so we're gonna coat this with a layer of silicone paint. Most silicone paint packs you will order will come with a flesh colored paint base, but you can mix that paint with a little bit of red, a little bit of white, and black to get your desired color. Let that dry for a bit, and you've got yourself a realistic looking prosthetic. Give yourself a hand. All right, with the hand all done, it's time to make some blood to accompany that hand. This is one of the most famous methods of crafting fake blood. Good old fashioned American corn syrup. Oh, I remember the old days of sneaking into the cupboard and stealing away a little sip of corn syrup while mom was away. And then they find out and, you know, seriously worry about your potential for the future. This corn syrup recipe has been used on indie horrors since, well, indie horrors began. Bruce Campbell was basically coated in this mixture for the entirety of the Evil Dead. 
A lot of people use it because it's extremely simple to make. Just pour out some corn syrup into a container and procure a bottle of red food coloring. Put a healthy dose of it in there and mix it all up. Then add the secret ingredient that brings it all together, chocolate syrup. That will add a bit of brown color that will even out the brightness of the red. For our little horror shoot, I wanted a spurt of blood onto one of the characters, so instead of flinging it with my hand, I used a little water gun looking thing to soak some blood up and shoot it at Brian. We also had a shot where someone gets their guts cut out of them, so we decided to make some fake guts to spill. This is also another extremely simple build. Just take some regular pantyhose and start stuffing it with paper towels. Once you fill them up, tie them off and begin soaking them in the blood mixture. The paper towels are going to soak up the blood and it will somehow turn out looking like some bonafide human tubes. You can even recreate some of your favorite Indiana Jones scenes if you mold the guts just right. Kalima! So now you have a practical effect bouquet of gory goodness. All in all, the materials totaled up to about $80, so it won't break the bank too much if you're worried about cost. Now it's time to gather up your friends and slice them up on camera for your own sick enjoyment. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to come back for some new, fresh content that we've been cooking up here at Premium Beat. I promise we got some really awesome stuff looking ahead for y'all. Like, sub, and share, and we'll see you in the next one.